All right, I caught up with two of the frag dolls here, Caliber and Jinx. Good, good to see you. Thanks for coming on Cornell TV. Um, what do you guys think of CS so far? It's been a really great show. We're, we're seeing a lot of like really nice uh, software, uh, hardware, and uh, we saw the Apple phone was announced, and um, Dell just announced their new uh, ceramic cooling system for the PCs. There's a lot going on. It's going to be a good year. Okay. It's your first time to Vegas? Um, no, I've been one other time, but I barely got to see anything, so I got to go down the strip, gamble a little bit. I do the penny slots, so <laughs> that's fun for me. <laughs> cool, cool. Okay, so, um, you know, Frag Dolls, you guys are kind of like, you know, big name out there, people know you, but maybe if you don't know about you, can you give me a little bit idea of who you are and what you do? Um, well, we are a team of female gamers uh, owned by Ubisoft, so we, um, we compete on games and then we also help to promote their games. Um, and we do a lot of advocacy for the gaming industry as a whole and also for female gamers. Speaking of girl gamer advocacy, what, uh, what's some of the formula that goes into that? Well, um, we, because uh, we're in the public eye and we are, we're able to do a lot of interviews like this, um, we're able to educate a lot of people about the presence of female gamers. Of course, a lot of the really hardcore gamers understand that there are girls who play games and it's not something that girls can't enjoy. But for some reason, the larger mainstream audience doesn't see it as something that girls really do. So by, by being out there and saying, hey, we, we do this, a lot of them go, oh, that's really cool. And you know, then that way, we hope to let more women know that there are girls playing games and maybe if they give it a try they'll actually enjoy it. Okay, I understand you guys uh, won a tournament, big tournament, the CPL recently. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, um, it was for Rainbow Six Vegas on the Xbox 360 and um, it was crazy. Like a lot of the teams there weren't that um, familiar with Rainbow Six <laughs> Vegas, but one of them was uh, the Unknown. They were the champions for Team Compete, like the uh, the ladder for, the X for um, Rainbow Six Vegas. And so we beat them and it was we kind of tricked them where we, uh, we we made them think we liked the other spawn and then they picked that one and we were really good at this one spawn and we kicked the trash out of them. It was wonderful. <laughs> I'm a big fan of Rainbow Six Vegas and I'm, I haven't I haven't completed it yet. I'm just playing the, the campaign, single player campaign. Um, since you guys are so good, um, when I talk to gamers I like to get gaming tips. Um, is there like something you can give on sort of the single player, multiplayer for tips and stuff? Yes, one thing that really helps for multiplayer is when um, an enemy's coming up on you, if you crouch up and down a lot, <laughs> it, it gets, it's hard for them to hit your head, so um, it's a good way to, you know, deflect their bullets. <laughs> and also, if you're a cheap player, um, there's a shotgun that you can actually set to automatic, so um, you've got a shotgun that just keeps pumping out the shots and uh, you need to be relatively close, but you can take out a lot of people with the auto shotgun. I'm going to let you find out which one that is, the, but it exists. It's the XM26 oh, she told. Space LSS. <laughs> <laughs> giving away secrets here on Coin Up TV. Good, good. Um, cool. So, uh, you know, it's a 2007. We're at CES. What are some of the games that uh, you guys might be looking forward to uh, getting, you know, come in the next few months or so? Well, Assassin's I'm, Creed. Yeah, that, I was just going to say mm. that. Assassin's Creed. Um, we're also looking forward to Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter yeah. 2. Long name, I know. Um, and Halo 3. Halo 3. I'm really looking forward to that one. When people look up to you, what do you sort of tell them as far as advice goes? Well, it's, it's, of course it's very important to practice a lot and mm -hmm. be very, very good at your game. Um, also to have confidence. A lot of times when, when girls start playing online, um, there are guys who, thanks to the... Um, anonymity of, of playing online. They can be real jerks sometimes, so it's important to not let that get you. Don't let it drive you away from gaming because when you get into a community and you're playing with people who enjoy the same games and they're, and they're nice about it, then you find something that's really, really special. Alrighty. And uh, any, any words of encouragement from you here? Yeah, I would say just the same thing along the same lines is um, it's all about practice. The more hours you put on in like the same game, um, the better you're going to get. And uh, confidence, definitely. Yeah. Like That's one of my main things is when you win a game, it's like this huge boost of confidence and it just you feed off that energy and you just keep going and going. So, um, you know, win games. And even if like you need someone to throw a game, or like your friend to let you win. It, it's still like I, I, I get. What? I know. <laughs> I mean, that's back when I wasn't very good, but now I don't need that. I'm just saying for girls who are, you know, just starting. Yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> so I guess that's actually advice for boyfriends. So if you're trying to get your girl into gaming, let her win every now and again. Yeah. Cool. Well, since we are Coin Up TV is sort of a retro gaming show, uh, can you tell me like what some of the games are that got you into gaming and hooked? You know, some 8-bit or 16-bit stuff. Yeah. Well, my first game was um, Super Mario Brothers on the Nintendo. I had the cartridge that had Super Mario Brothers and Duck Hunt and the World Track Meet. Oh. So I had I had all of those, um, and I cheated mercilessly. Um, and that was a lot of fun. And but then the next game that I got really addicted to was actually Mist. So oh, and uh, Mario Kart. Oh, Mario Kart, Kart is the best game ever. <laughs> cool. What about yourself? What started you the ball rolling? Um, the first game I played was Sesame Street for NES. <laughs> <laughs> I was like a wee lass. But um, and then as I got older, I think when I first started playing shooters, I was like seven or eight. So I was really little. I'm like this little girl on the PC shooting at my brothers on Quake. Tell us maybe what the next uh, couple of big events coming up before we wrap up. Uh, anything to look out for you guys? Um, we'll definitely be at the Game Developers Conference in March. Um, we're also going to DICE in February. And from there we'll kind of see what comes up and what, what, what we want to go to.